Welcome to hole number one of the Far East Nine Hole Cup here in the Pro Division. Starting off with a Kingmaker and an APOC. What I really need here is Curl. I'm going six top, three bars of right spin. And you'll see here in just a little moment, this is a bit of a scary setup. And I would definitely like to practice this one in the tournament. Just in the fact there that we are at max distance. So I might... You know, we're going to have to see how this one plays. In a nice tailwind here, this will be no big deal. So we're giving it quite a bit of overpower here and like almost max curl here with the APOC for, you know, like a couple of balls of curl there. So lots of curl because this is a strong dog leg right. And you'll see here the bounce just before the bunker, which is perfect. And I mean, if we can recreate this shot, it puts us in a beautiful position for the approach with the short iron. Now, you know me, I play the thorn all the time. So we've got just that, but we're only going to go with zero, maybe a little bit of top spin here, depending on the wind. Here in the headwind, we give it that bar of top spin. But if you got like a tailwind or a crosswind, we're probably going to be, you know, um, you know, zero spin or even a bar of backspin. I like bouncing on the fringe here. I find that the fairway before the green is particularly bad. If you wanted to play it with a little bit more backspin and then be on the green as well, that I think is a good idea too. So keep that in mind. You know, there's always little subtleties and differences and ways that we can play. 10% mid on the pole here uh, gives us a pretty darn good look at it. I'm looking forward to this one. I thought that the, the winter major was a lot of fun and I'm just happy to be here today. So thank you for watching the video. Stick around. We got a lot of drops after that. Just baby miss. Hole number two, and I mean, I'm not a super huge fan of this hole, but I think most people will play here on the right-hand side. I like a Kingmaker and a Rock in this situation. It gives us a really, a, a really consistent drive, and the Rock has a high degree of accuracy because we're going to be using some overpower here. So you see there, three bars of right spin at the plus nine yard mark. I got that blue ring on the right rough. Max OP, one ball of right curl. And that was a one-to-one -one adjustment. And you'll see here, this brings us down beautifully around 349, I think it is, if I remember, maybe 351. Or... Yeah, 349. Okay, yeah, I was putting this together watching the shots here. So, okay, so Grizzly for the second shot. We're going to play this at 0% mid distance, coming in with a rough bump. 3.5 bars of top spin, one right spin. And this is a pretty tough one. You know, I don't have a lot of luck here. Um, however, you know, I think, you know, with the right wind, this becomes far more droppable. Uh, a direct tailwind or any kind of uh, tailwind angle where you need to pull down into the bunker. And you kind of are dealing with, you know, a push up. It can be a little bit more finicky, but all in all, um, you know, I think it's going to be an interesting tournament. I really like the idea of having all the par fours. I think that's always a really cool thing. So, yeah, it should be good. It should be fun. Got to get that perfect away. This one's going to come in very, very nice. Not too often on this ridiculous course. But here we go. Getting the hole. We'll see you on number three. Hole number three. And we're looking at a play coming in on the left-hand side. Setting up with the extra mile and the kingmaker. We're going to give this one four and a half top. Three bars of left spin. There it is. Ba ba ba. And take a look at that second bounce kind of in that little red or brown bush there. That's going to be like a second bounce rough bump. We want that rough to slow it down. So this one trickles out onto the fairway, leaving us a very fair shot for the, for the second shot here. So clean adjustment, 20% max pull here. Get that perfect away down the middle of the fairway. Guys, if you enjoy the content, if you're getting value from the videos, I would definitely appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm always trying my best here. Let me know how I'm doing in the comment section below. Second shot played with the wedge. You're gonna bring your end bringer or, you know, whatever the heck you prefer, your rapier. So size it up, playing this like at club distance. So this one, using my little ruler on the left, it's like 90%, right? So probably gonna play this one if I recall. Come on, playing around, Baldy. Anyway, yeah, 90% looks good to me. But, you know, just depends on the distance of your drive. I'm going to change my slider around. Good. So, all in all, not too bad here. Clean little pull. And anytime we can get these par fours down into wedge range, you want to do it. So, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll probably use a couple power balls and whatever it takes to get there. It's still a nine-hole cup. You know, you need to balance your ball inventory. But, hey, all in good fun. 
get some get some to drop let's go okay so hole number four we're actually playing a no move no spin rock and a katana here just to get this one down the middle of the fairway you don't need to do anything special because the second shot isn't too too bad from here so 10 percent max on the pull here get that one nicely set up nothing crazy no curl no overpower no incantations just get the ball in play fairways and greens that's always good advice that i've gotten from my awesome chat multiple times for a good reason second shot 328 there is a dunk here if you want you can go ahead and play it i actually showed the uh, the dunk getting down in my rookie video but if you want a little something consistent here three left about 1.3 bars of topspin that second bounce is about the distance of the fringe from the edge of the fringe to kind of see it's like about a ring a ring and a half down and then the tip of that ball guy just trickling up to the pin yellow ring just about touching well clipping into the rough here and i'm pulling this one zero percent max with the thorn shockingly enough so i think this is kind of a favorable way for many to play but hey if you want to go for the dunk go for it you know it's all in good fun clean bounce rolls up very very nicely here get in the hole let's go on to number five all right, so hole number five, this is a classic hole, and I recognize not everyone has a Thor 7, but if you have an EM8 um, or, you know, higher level Apox here, lots of ways to get this one down over to the final fairway. I choose to use this club here because I had it in this example, but it's the only time in the video you'll see the Thor 7, okay? But I play this one max top, a bar of left spin, and 20% max on the adjustment here. We're going to be pulling directly into overpower, uh, but that doesn't really matter too much in this example. Max overpower and just a one click of left curl there. I don't know, just into the wind. I felt like it was appropriate at the time. Perfect away. And it's going to give you an idea here how much room there is to work with. So an APOC there, you could land way further up. Just clip the rough and get it out. Okay, you know what to do. It's not a big deal. Second shot. And with a good wind, you could play there with a lower power ball as well. Second shot, I'm playing with the Thorn. No spin here. Uh, it's coming in a little bit uphill, but it still plays at 20% mid here. Very nicely into the wind. Landing just on the edge of the green. I'd like to see myself have that, you know, full yellow ring on the green. But that's just from a theoretical perspective. What really matters is that we get the ball in the bottom of the cup repeatedly. And that's so far what we've been doing in the video but a little miss here. Like I said, a little bit of backspin there. Control it. And I think we've been very, very nice. Hole number six. We're starting off with the safe example. No move target here with a kingmaker and my extra mile. No major changes other than 1.6 bars of backspin. You know, a little bit more than one and a half. Nothing crazy here. Just to get this one in play down the middle. Now, I recognize there's also a left-hand play on this hole. Some people prefer. Uh, and there's also a right-hand play. I'm going to show you the move to the right because I think that's very popular when we have good wins. And this seems to me, um, you know, giving us a second shot rough bump. Uh, going to be good advice for a large number of players. So no move target. 1.6 back. Kingmaker and the extra mile here. This puts it beautifully into play. And as you can see in the info on the side there, we got 35% min on this second shot with the sniper. Now, I'm actually going to be setting it up a little tiny bit further than min. I kind of wish I'd stayed directly at min. But all in all, half a bar of top spin, half a bar of left spin approximately here. I'm just kind of feeling it out here. This one, this is a funny course, but I, you know, I accept it. And we get some drops once in a while. I think overall, though, the whole tournament layout with multiple courses, all the par fours, I think it's a pretty good setup. I think it's going to make for a really entertaining tournament. And I really hope that everybody can be logged in to play because the fiasco with the Winter Major is very disappointing for me. And I just, I really feel for you if you weren't able to play. And uh, hopefully everything can get back to normal. Perfect away. We all just want to have some fun here. Get that ball in the hole. Just a little bit much there, but I had dropped it in practice prior to this. Okay, so if the wind allows it, this is essentially what everybody's going to do. Max top, uh, I get two bars of left spin here. You can go one left and a bit more curl. Depends on your preferences. But yeah, we're just going to grip it and rip it and try to get it down 
to that second fairway close to the green. This is infinitely higher chance of an eagle than either the left or the center play. So if at all, you can make this one happen with a bigger ball, your biggest clubs, whatever you got, this is really going to be the play. Max over power here. A little bit of left curl. Nothing too crazy. Try to hit perfect, okay? Not always as easy as it is said to be done. However, like I said here, get that nice bounce off the end of the fairway. Clip in the rough, but still lots of roll here with this club. You don't have to go this far. Just clipping the rough and getting out leaves you with a very close and straight shot. Now, I've got the end bringer here, so we're going to set it up with the 20% at club distance here so we're roughly mid or so playing it at mid and i use no spin in this method which we've obviously talked about a few times but always new people joining the channel i love seeing the new faces in the streams and of course for the nine hole cups don't forget check out ehrlichgaming.com i have notes for this video already prepared to be uploaded soon and you can check that web page anytime always free information there for you for the tournaments get in the hole Let's move on to number seven. Hole number seven. The idea here is you have to do whatever it takes to get the ball to bounce on this little lily pad and roll out onto that fairway. So I got a Zerk and an extra mile here. We're going to go 5.5 top and about one and a half bars of right spin here. I mean, one bar of right spin would be fine just if you like to keep it easy. But just going by what we're doing here in the video examples. 10% max on the pull here. It just comes down into the water. But that is A-OK -okay with this adjustment in this wind condition. Just a tiny bit of overpower there. Just with a little bit of feeling. Not even breaking the circle. Get this one away. So this is going to be a really good opportunity on this hole. Like there's quite a few of these par fours that if the wind is favorable, we can get into Endbringer uh, wedge range here. Look a little bit more topspin. You know, put yourself in a beautiful, beautiful position. All in all, though, this one should be a straightforward drop. Zero spin. And bring your shot once again. Same deal. Stretch it out. We're looking like 40%. I'm saying, yeah, I think we're going to go with 40% here. I don't even remember. Let's see. If, uh, and I could use my little ruler, but I often just estimate. Uh, it's really just in the higher level stuff. But yeah, 40. Yeah, 40. See, 40%. So 3.2 ring pull. No big deal. And there's also a link to this end bringer school method from Jared A in the description of the video. Just to check that out, but I'm playing it enough. You can pick it up. We can put it down. Get in the hole. You know what we need to do here. There it is, baby. Here comes number eight. Hole number eight. Now, once again, you see me setting up with a Zerk here. You don't have to play a Zerk for all these shots. The Kingmaker here, a little bit more overpower, and you're in the money, okay? Four and a half top, two bars of left spin here, and we're going to use max overpower and half a ball of left curl. And again, I could have played on the right side as well. That's another way that you could play this hole without using that big of a ball. I'm going to have to kind of judge it in the actual tournament, which holes I feel comfortable going with the Zerk. You have to check your inventory, you know. Uh, but this is a great way to get it close and, in this case, get the drop. Max OP, just under half a ball of left curl there. Could have gone either way a little bit more a little bit less there would be just fine the idea here get this one down the fairway don't hit the light post it's so close lots of room to work with here though this puts us up very very nicely second shot in this wind played at negative 15 percent sometimes negative 20 sometimes less as well but here you'll see got the grizzly doing a little pin check so this note probably came from tommy or Radu, and if that's the case, thank you. But this is, in fact, the best example I had to share. Four bars of backspin. You'll see there, negative 15 at slider. We're a little bit less than mid in this case, 20 to 30%. So keep that in mind. You have to practice these shots. This is a general guide to teach you how to play the course, give you the best possible examples that I have insights commentary useful information feel free to leave any useful information in the comment section Whew, just about we'll see you on number nine hole number nine this is easily my least favorite hole on this course six top one left i got the extra mile and a kingmaker here we're playing this one down the middle of the fairway some players in the right wind will try to go for it and get over that last bunker to the final fairway if you can do so you'll put yourself in a very nice shot for your second shot however if you screw that up you're in the dirt 
we're gonna have a real hard time picking up the eagle so i'm using about 50 percent overpower here just to get this one nicely down the fairway in this headwind it all depends the wind is everything right so this gives us an idea how we're gonna play and you know it's gonna be a fun tournament just so long as the servers are up and running Eesh, gosh i don't know we'll see tomorrow will be the big day uh, that you'll see this after tomorrow has already happened second shot playing at negative 30 percent mid with the sniper to top and i think i have like 0.2 right spin here on it going for this inconsistent rough bump but this is not a bad wind to play it in having that uh cross headwind you can adjust nicely out onto the fairway without having to pull down into the bunker so i think it'll work out pretty good i think the whole thing is going to be fun and i'll be live streaming making notes on the youtube channel so please if you can make the stream come on by check it out don't forget to subscribe to the channel something like 60 percent of the people who view my videos are not subscribed what the heck why is that go ahead and do so come on baby have yourself a wonderful day thank you for watching and good luck